Friend and former business partner of ex Clark County Sheriff Ray Norris is going to go to prison for defrauding a COVID relief program. Our Brendan Kirby has more on this story. And Brendan, the federal judge essentially splitting the difference between the prosecution and the defense. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. The sentence isn't as long as what prosecutors wanted, but the judge also rejected the probation that the defense asked for. Mr. Beard, do you, you feel like saying anything? Danny Lee Beard Jr. will go to prison for six months for defrauding the Paycheck Protection Program and will have to pay more than $154,000 in restitution. Prosecutors had argued for 15 months and a $50,000 fine on top of the restitution. Uh, we were pleased that the court did uh, grant a variance down from the low end of 15 months to six months, but as you said, we're very disappointed that... Uh, it was not a probationary sentence. Originally, prosecutors charged Beard with co-signing fraudulent loans taken out by former Clark County Sheriff Ray Norris. But those charges were dropped in exchange for Beard's guilty plea to one count of wire fraud. He admitted to misstating the number of employees and the payroll at his construction firm. Assistant U.S. Attorney Andrew Arrington argued in court that Beard tried to minimize his criminal conduct. He said Beard obtained government funds under false pretenses while he was gambling away tens of thousands of dollars. Norris pleaded guilty to his own federal indictment and awaits sentencing. He also faces state ethics charges that have been dismissed, but that the Alabama Court of Criminal Appeals reinstated earlier this month. Defense attorney Dennis Nisley says Beard regrets associating with the former sheriff and believes prosecutors are trying to get him to help them build their case against Norris. The federal investigation came about, and as many federal investigations are, then they pick up uh, another person that may be a target of uh, cooperation. It didn't work out in this case, but I think that's uh, at least in part what uh, swept Danny up in this case. Some 50 people submitted character letters on Beard's behalf. That includes former Alabama Supreme Court Chief Justice Sue Bell Cobb. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.